Unit 8 is about the Cold War and decolonization. The aftermath of the World Wars provided the context for two developments in the late 20th century, the decline of colonial empires and the rise of a tense conflict between capitalist and communist states known as the Cold War. These conflicts became intertwined, resulting in numerous wars. Against the backdrop of the World Wars, nationalist movements in Africa and Asian colonies intensified. In the decades following World War II, colonies achieved independence through negotiation and in some cases armed struggle. The creation of independent states often resulted in population resettlements and challenges to inherited colonial boundaries. In the newly independent states, as in more established states, governments actively promoted economic development, movements to redistribute land and wealth gained support in Africa, Latin America, and Asia. Some of these movements, such as the one in China, embraced a form of communism. Even after independence, connections between post-colonial states and former colonial empires continued through migration and economic relationships. After World War II, with Europe weakened, the United States and the Soviet Union, or USSR, emerged as competing superpowers. The resulting Cold War was a power struggle between capitalism and communism, expressed through competing military alliances, a nuclear arms race, and proxy wars in post-colonial states in Latin America, Asia, and Africa. While the Cold War heightened global tensions, movements advocating nonviolence and alternatives to the established order, such as the non-aligned movement, also became influential. By the late 1900s, Soviet economic and military stagnation and public discontent contributed to the collapse of the communist governments in Eastern Europe and the end of the Cold War.